He enjoyed working in the garden, gloves free. What's the worst that could happen? He'd done this for years with no problem. A skilled and experienced gardener, he took pride in his work and knew what he was doing. Ow! That was a sharp thorn. Darn rosebush. No band-aid needed. So he toughed it out. The bleeding stopped soon, and he moved on with his business. A few weeks later, what was this? A small pink bump on this forearm. It felt weird, but he was a rough and tumble guy. The next week, several more bumps and in a single line down his arm? Must be some kind of reaction. Several days later, they burst open and began forming ulcers. Still, being a typical guy, he ignores the obvious signs that medical intervention is required. But that weekend, he began developing respiratory symptoms. Finally, his wife taking notice felt that he was developing pneumonia. But what was this on his arm? After a week in the hospital, with doctors and nurses poking and prodding and x-raying and piercing veins and swabbing, the answer came. He's a severe, untreated case of Rose Gardner's disease, or sporotrichosis. A fungus had entered his body through the prick of a thorn. But this was not just any fungus. This was a member of an elite group of fungal villains called a dimorphic fungus. In nature, they exist as saprophytic molds feeding on dead and decaying matter. Innocent. Until they enter the human body through traumatic inoculation, where they morph into a virulent yeast form. Back in the lab, mycologists note the characteristic rosette arrangement of the spores, or conidia, which, under the microscope, sort of resemble the plants they colonize. After a robust round of intravenous antifungal medication, he was back in the garden, but this time donning protective gloves, albeit begrudgingly because 